Hello, welcome to the MAC weather page for this Thursday, January 21st. You can see temperatures around 20 degrees across northern areas where there's a little more in the way of cloud cover and a few snow showers. And down into the low to mid-teens across southeast lower Michigan, again, where there's some clear skies there. Looks like uh, moderating temperatures up to... Uh, uh, getting closer to near normal by the uh, end of the week and end of the weekend. I think we'll even have temperatures in the low to mid-30s late this weekend and early next week. Our next chance of precipitation as far as snow will come on Monday could be mixed with rain across the southern areas. This system could bring around 1 to 3 inches of snow. And then we're going to watch a couple of clipper systems for next week. That uh, even one of these could bring a little bit more in the way of uh, wind and snow that may be of a little more importance. But right now, it's too far out to speculate, but we'll certainly keep an eye on it as we go through the weekend. And obviously, the big weather story anyways is going to be the blizzard across the mid-Atlantic states, especially for cities like Washington, D.C. into Baltimore and up into New York City and Long Island where blizzard watches are in effect. And uh, we'll look at some of the snowfall totals here in just a moment. But you can see on radar that uh, a system that's developing just to the west of Texas will move towards the northern portions of Alabama and Mississippi and then move to the northeast to near Chesapeake Bay as we get into the weekend. And again, you can see the moisture beginning to pool out ahead of this storm. If we take a look at the uh, low-level wind flows, you can clearly see where the center of low pressure is on this particular depiction. And you can see it's just to the west of Dallas. And again, this is going to develop into uh, quite a system here over the next uh, 48 hours. And if we look at the weather map by 7 a.m. this morning, you see low pressure system uh, moving through northern uh, eastern Texas. And again, on its way towards the uh, big cities of the northeast. And you can see by uh, Friday morning, you can see that low pressure system in the northern portions of Alabama, Mississippi. And you can see plenty of precipitation breaking out to the north of that. And you can see a little system here that uh, we're expecting to bring some of the snow showers today and tomorrow. will be dropping down into uh, central Lake Huron. And again, that's going to merge with this system here as it gets towards the east coast. And you can see by Saturday morning, that system really beginning to deepen now down to 992 millibars with a swath of very heavy wind-driven snow to the northwest. And even some places could pick up between half and three-quarters of inch of freezing rain. So a very significant storm for that area. And you're going to see lots of airports, lots of shutdowns all across that portion of the country here. And uh, it's going to bring, I think, places like D.C. and Baltimore to a paralyzing halt. And if we look at the uh, current weather watches and warnings map, you can see a large area of winter storm warnings and uh, blizzard watches also for Long Island and for the uh, uh, D.C. Baltimore area. And again, this is going to be a very significant snow. And if you look at the latest 06Z run of snowfall amounts, you can see around the District of Columbia, around the capital area, around 25 to 35 inches of snow off the latest GFS. And the uh, Canadian and the uh, European model also very aggressive with snowfall in this area up to uh, Baltimore. So again, a very big, powerful winter storm. Uh, it's going to be affecting parts of the mid-Atlantic states here over the next several days. For us here in Michigan, though, no, much calmer conditions, but we do see more in the way of potential uh, from at least some light snow. We don't see any big storms, we don't see any big warm-ups, and we don't see any big uh, Arctic outbreaks anytime soon for at least the next week to 10 days. But we do have a chance, I think, of picking up a little bit more in the way of snowfall, especially as we get into next week. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day and 73s to all.